Alright, this Misty Minute is probably one of the most requested ones that I have ever gotten. And initially, I was not going to do this. Because this is something I do for sale for my friends. Um, but this is called a wig line. Um, some people call it the rooted wig. And one of my drag daughters calls it French fry hair. You'll see why. But it's very simple. All you need is a brush, a comb, and actually I can't find my comb, but the best comb to use is a flea and tick comb for a pet. Like a little metal fine tooth, because that gets really good in there. Um, finishing hairspray, spray, but my favorite favorite is Pump It Up Gold, because this is cement, and you want your hair to stay. A wig head, plastic, or whatever. And then, of course, you need a wig. This is the before. The first thing you're going to do is pull all the hair that you're not using into a ponytail or a bun in the back. And you're going to leave a fine line of hair around the front and sides of the wig. And I like to spray the shit out of it. So, pump it up gold. There's not, when you're styling a wig when it's not on someone's head, there's no such thing as too much hairspray. And I like to pre-soak it because it gets crunchy. And the crunchier it is, the easier it is to work with. So when you're actually doing the wig line, you're going to start with small sections. It's really hard to put a wig line into a banged wig because it's easier to start higher. So, again, <laughs> Fine tooth combs are best. Alright, now the trick, I'm not going to give you all my tricks, but the trick is to get it as close, that's feminine and pretty, huh? As close as you can to the bottom. And I have broken so many plastic combs, another reason you want a metal one. Do my tits look cute when I do that? <laughs> Daddy. Okay. Alright. Now there's a section. Now that's a pretty good hefty. So I probably don't need to. Look up here. Oh, it's so big. Alright, so now you take both sections and rat it. In beauty school they say you don't call it ratting, but in wigs you just rat the shit out of it. And that is the start of a wig line. And you have to do that all the way around the head. After you've done all the little sections over the entire wig line, you have a full, I guess, beard of hair. So after it's all ratted, you comb it down and make sure it's all smooth. What you're going to need for this next step is simple scissors. What you don't want to do, and I'll show you, but <laughs> it's hard for me to do it for the camera. What you don't want to do is cut in straight lines. But when you cut it in a straight line, it kind of looks like it's the actual wig before you put in a wig line. So it kind of defeats the purpose. So what you're going to do is you're going to go in and cut the wig upwards like that. Um, I'm not creative, but I like to go opposite directions because I think the more jagged it looks, the more natural it looks. One way, and then the opposite way. And this is why one of my drag daughters calls it French fry hair, because it looks like little French fries coming out of your head. The wig line. And you'll notice that there's a lot of imperfections, and that is actually what you want. Again, if you cut it in a straight line, it looks like a wig out of a box. The more jagged and the more serrated, I guess, the edges of the wig make it look more natural. And that's what you really want, once it's on your head, to look like it's growing out of your head. So, make yourself a wig line. And that was a Misty Minute about wig lines. Have fun.